Hey guys, welcome to SAP Mix Studio Um Biamas, conectando a Ruba com o mundo via video podcasting. Conectar com nós, compartilhar ideias na história para nos inspirar e papel com a Abri. SAP Mix Studio é plataforma de podcast na Ruba. Follow-nos no Facebook, subscribe no YouTube, ofre uma plataforma de podcast preferida. Escute o podcast preferido, que hora e onde está. SAP Mix Studio, powered by. Credits, botei uma ideia. Credits educava e prepara a abo para vir um empresário exitoso. De business plan, guia personal e préstamo para negócio até com 100 mil forim. Vira para o mês doido com Credits. Sopway, passa na Sopway para o Sop, Salada, Wrap ou Flatbread e mais fresco. Com 7 localidades Ronte e Aruba. Não está cerca de Ibo. Sopway. Swing Masters. Organizando eventos, conferências ou weddings. Mister de luz, som, staging, DJ, trozen ou flat screen. Swing Masters está claro para fazer boa fiesta um éxito. Swing Masters. E a War Sop e Mix Studio é a plataforma de podcast de Aruba está apresentada. Pillow Talk. Powered by Success Bliss. There is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. Yoni Love seduced from within. Matis enhancing your brand. Good night, everybody. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good ready evening. in the night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> so how are you, every, uh, oh, are you guys today? Hi, Brian. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, fine. I'm very good. Happy to be here again. <laughs> I'm, I love the title today. I love every What's title. What's the title today, Dino? Being sexy is not easy. Ooh. Amen. <laughs> anxiety and performance. Okay. Okay. So, I'm not going to start talking today. I'm going to be the last one that talks. Okay. Because okay. I, I, um, let, let me go. Let me go let with Brian the sponsors start. before yes. we start. Yes, please. Okay. So I want to thank you, Zappi Mix Sponsors, Credits, and Swing Master. And I want to thank the sponsors that make this show possible. Success Blitz, Johnny Love Aruba, and Matis. Yes. Now, Ariana, yes. you want to start? Yeah, so I was joking around. I said, okay, being me is hard because I'm sexy. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a joke. But all jokes aside. No, um, it's not a joke. No, I know. It's not a I joke know. because you do get a lot of... <laughs> anger yeah yeah because of being sexy and that's just you yeah so yeah it's yeah. good actually when yes. when when i met Ar- ariana i was like if you look for sexiness in the dictionary you will see a picture of her <laughs> okay okay some, men, okay some women yeah if they see you next to their men Yeah. They'll be very angry, Ariana. That would be because they <laughs> that would be because they don't masturbate enough and yeah. they don't orgasm enough. Yeah, it's not ooh. about me. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because if they do, they would be this fine, you know. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, sex, anxiety, and performance. Ooh, this is a very good one. Um, because for me, this takes me back to my first sexual experience, and I am. Um, It brought it. It triggered a lot of anxiety with me, because um, the performance and being the first time, um, I didn't feel. I thought I was ready, and and I, w- and I wasn't. Um, and what it, what kind of impact it made um, onto me till this day. Not that that it had like a bad one, but it it opened my mind to dive deep into other types of. Um, Sex, uh, sex, uh, and not pleasure. In yeah, pleasure. Other That's kind the word. of pleasures. Yes. So um, for me, it was the anxiety got triggered in a way because we didn't communicate what we were going to do, and um, being um, having a sexual experience or during the sex activity, um, I was having a lot of thoughts. If was this right? I had my dad's voice in my head. You're too soon. I had so many things going on, of my intuition telling me this is not the moment. But um, I didn't know at the time, and I, and I was a teenager. I was very young, and I didn't have, I didn't knew better. But now that I'm a mom and I see my kids growing, and how am I going to be able to explain to them um, sex, anxiety, and performance? You know, because they are becoming curious and how 
So today's this is a very interesting topic to see um, what we can share with the crowd um, because I know there's a lot of uh, people out there um, that struggle with uh, sex, anxiety, and performance. Um, a lot of these things go back to how they see themselves. Um, so, yes, Brian. Brian, go ahead. Brian. Okay, so, you know, I want to share... Mostly people, when they learn about sex, is because porn. And um, I grew up seeing porn, and the the all what you see in the porn videos and the porn movies is like perfection. Everything is so perfect. They don't show the parts where uh, maybe the the model or or the like the actress or actor they're uh, sweating or you know they did a bad position or something got or, a cramp or they, got a cramp got mm-hmm. a cramp or exactly a so every <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly so all those parts they jump and that's that's the, the the like i was i was seeing at the commentary about um how there's a lot of uh, men in the industry of uh, porn and there's no woman like woman uh, that is a director that she, you know, uh, own a, a, a porn uh, company. Mm-hmm. So studio, yes, exactly. So I learned everything like from, from porn and seeing all these models, six packs, perfect body. For me, I was, my idea of being sexy was that I had, I need that body to look good. Mm-hmm. I need to look like that to be able to be accepted. And you know, honestly, only 90% uh, like this standard of beauty is mm-hmm. and what is sexy and where it is not I think maybe the 90% of the world doesn't fit in it yes. only that's the 10% true. You, know, that's true. you know what I, I would I would love to add on to what you just said Brian because it's all about the social media and the perception of other people because there are some cultures the, the Greeks for example mm-hmm. you need to have a, a fat belly to to do that beautiful dance that they sexy mm-hmm. dance there if you don't have that belly it won't look no. like like no. how it should look yeah okay so for example i'm very proud of my belly because i can roll it then yeah <laughs> yeah and yes that's what i mean so uh, look it's but if you don't if you don't feel self assured what whatever i see will not get into your head so you need to be self-assured, just what Ariana just said. Get your masturbation in place. And it's a not only everyday thing. It's a every occasion that you think I need it thing. Because maybe you need several masturbation a day. Yeah. And and yeah. it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay? So, uh, um, do you have... I, 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 I have something that I wanted See. to add on what Brian yeah, said yeah. of the grooming. Um, that was my first uh, um, trigger on thinking on how my performance is going to be because um, my first time I had pubic hair and for me it did it wasn't a problem until the guy said you have to take it off and I was like <gasps> why yes and I did I did took it off and I'm like mm. but that moment that had an impact on me because um, it made me think of that the hair is dirty. It's not nice. And I was always yeah. thinking of it should just be trimmed. You can do a nice a nice design, a Brazilian wax. You can, you know, have fun with, with your own body and not letting the other person dip, say or have a say on what you like of yourself. So that's something we, we said about the grooming part because I, I never had an, an experience that I went and I told the guy, shave it off. No, if you feel that how you want it and it's clean and it smells good, it's a go. But don't be able to put that on somebody else. And without communicating again, why would you like it like that? Yeah, you know? I, I, I would like to do... It's all about mm-hmm. communication, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. Once I did that, uh, tell a client, because she's, she wants to go down, she wants to do, give the, the, her man a blowjob, but her man doesn't shave. So I told her, make a f- 
do a full um, give him a treatment yeah do your shaving you groom cream him. and groom him and yeah. make it a foreplay and give him his job blow job and but communicate that that's one part of kama sutra that you you and your partner you groom each other you yes. you wash the hair you shave each other yeah. and it's something that you have to communicate because you're not going to go with a, with a Uh, uh, how do you call it? A shaving machine, uh, and the guy does is not <laughs> <laughs> comfortable with it. You know, you, you know what? Yeah. I my my I in my in my office these days, I've had a lot of situations about anxiety in men. So that's why I've placed all tonight all my dedication on that part, and because the anxiety, the most of the anxiety comes in men and not in women men, during yes. sex. Okay, I have a percentage is here. Nine of the twenty-five percent percent of male get this anxiety, this performance anxiety. Mm -hmm. Six out of ten percent of women get this. So it's less yes. women. Yes. Um, it happens when the mind is too much stressed out. They cannot focus. On this uh, to, to perform, so they they have the desire, but because they are in their mind, nothing mm. will happen. Uh, they, <laughs> they will the not get a, not even a heart a heart erection or mm -hmm. a semi heart, yeah. and they cannot perform yeah. because they are in their head. So yeah. it's all about taking this person out of his head, head. Mm -hmm. and it's very easy. Yeah. yeah. So, the what kind of worries? Because I was like, what kind of worries? Could these guys have in their heads during uh, during the, the when they have a goddess on I their share? bed? <laughs> yes, right. Yes, you know, you know, of course. So then I go back for what I said: learning from porn and the perfection and and the way they yeah. move. Like you know, um, mostly mostly the the uh, I I was uh, seeing a sex sex therapist that she was talking that we learn the sounds that we do from movies and and the we moaning. we think that say. The moaning, yes, and and, no. and we think that's the way no. sexy. No, and, and actually we 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 <laughs> forgot to breathe the the properly way because we start like, <laughs> and actually when the body gets so agitated and you know, the way of of the of the brain reacting to that sound being like so aggressive breathing, is that the 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 body gets in an an alert like hey something is going on you breathing faster. And actually, we forgot like the probably way to breathe while we are having that intimate moment. Mm -hmm. True. When, mm -hmm. when that's why that's why I start when I start my coaching, I start I give them breathing breathing lessons. I teach them breathe yeah. to breathe. That's number one. However, when in my fourth session, I teach them to moan. You need to get those sounds out. Yeah. yeah. You cannot hold them in. So it shouldn't be like porn, though. It you should feel how your sound gets out. <laughs> yeah, and real, real. And it because should be some, real. Some, 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 let's be honest. Women sometimes they fake it. No, they they fake it. Never no, should no, fake no. It. If they fake it, it's because it's not good sex. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the guys too. But and it's it's something very important because if you are having a secret energy exchange, you are working with your chakras. And if you are going to block certain chakras because if you want to orgasm, it's a pure, nice alignment of all your chakras. Yeah. So if you are not going to moan, because sometimes I, I'm not gonna lie, when you are going to have like a sex, a sexual adventure and have sex somewhere that you're not allowed <laughs> you're to, not and you're not going to <laughs> do it loudly, <laughs> you know, and that there's a kinky part where you're going to be quiet and take it. And that's also, you know, you're gonna be in the moment, right? But <laughs> <laughs> it it is very important though to to release that sound that you have building up, and if, if especially if it's starting from your um from your lower belly, from from your root chakra, your secret chakra, mm -hmm. you have to channel it and get it out. And believe me, it would help with the arousal too. And another, so. I would I mm. what Ariana is saying is true because if you cannot moan or scream because of the where you are the location and you're going with a new guy i poor thing because he'll never know what you like yeah because through your moaning the your partner will know what you like so each time yeah. you moan and it's genuine 
Mm-hmm. It, it, it will just be, it, he'll record it. Mm-hmm. There is where she moaned. Mm-hmm. So I'm going yeah. there. Yeah. Or I won't go there because I'll tease her. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's why you s- need to stay genuine. And for the guy's part, because I always love to talk about the guy's part, because I've heard, I've heard, like they said here, uh, kaya pap, yes, the, the word on the street is that men actually don't have to moan. And I have to say, I find it very ah, sexy. sexy. It's oh sexy. my God, that is the very most sexy. <laughs> oh. Honestly, yes, I feel I feel when I hear a man moan, it's like, oh, I did a great, great job. job. He's real. Yes. He's, he's enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the title. <laughs> I like this topic. <laughs> okay. What yeah. kind of worries creates these anxieties? Yeah. Um. A fear that they cannot perform to satisfy their um, partners. Um, worried about body image. They are fat. Um, problem with in their relationship can cause these anxieties. Mm-hmm. Worried that the penis is not sufficient. Uh, it's too small. Mm-hmm. Worried um, that they come too soon they, they ejaculate too soon or they ejaculate too late to it takes too long to ejaculate um orgasm that they can not get their orgasm and ex, and enjoy the, ex, the sexual experience because being in their head um yeah that those are kind of the words that i um wrote as an example that there are a lot of tools that can be used to take these words out of your head so if you cannot do it please take on uh, make contact with one of us we can help you with this it's it's something very small it can become a problem um at the long term if you don't do anything now okay um i've heard of guys that went to the doctor um because they they had an erectile dysfunction and and I'm talking about really young young men, not not old men. And um, when the doctor checked checked the this person, he said, "But you're completely fine. Everything is great. All your health checks came in great. So it's not a it's not a physical problem. It's a it's a mental problem." And what was actually lingering in this person's head was um, that this person's wife was having an affair mm. and he found out but he didn't face her but yet he still wanted to have sex with with his wife and not being able to communicate this it's going to create such a huge impact and worry on your performance that you will not get a hard on not not yes. even how not even putting on porn or um, because the worry is too big so you have to you have to handle it yes. and I think a lot of people and this may also have been a cause that that the women did not she wasn't happy with the sexual performance of her husband because he wasn't getting hard on so she was thinking that he's not think she, he's not finding her sexy enough yes. and there you have a, a relationship problem the women goes and find something else but the problem was actually between them because this man was working more than three jobs to earn a living, to fulfill the women's need. Yes. So th- th- I think it's very hard for men out there, especially today, um, if you find a person or a, a couple or you know a partner, and how are you able to communicate? And because these things are are very important or when you're going to dive in a relationship. So you're not going to dive in a relationship and you didn't sexually communicate. You didn't communicate your finances. You didn't communicate your ambitions and goals and desires. And yet we dive in or people tend to dive in these things and yet expect amazing results. Um, I think it's very important for men to be able to communicate what they want. Just as we say we, we empower our women to do so, we empower our men to do as well the same. Yes, look, um, before I go to you, Brian, I would like to add something on um, Ariana's um what she just said, I totally agree. I have a, a lady coming in, and uh, this she has her man has um, Madonna syndrome. Mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 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 and uh, she didn't understand what 
what Madonna syndrome was. How can he not desire me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, I I guide her um, through the process. Now they they get the man is getting a hard on, and they are reaching the point where they want to reach. But it's all about the um, the women be the women needs to be calm and collective. Yeah. Okay, grow together with your man. But that's the man you want. But it's a situation that he needs to grow out of it. It's it's not a it's not a, a healthy um, sorry it's not a, something wrong with him no it's he is just in his head so give him time to get out of his head mm-hmm. and if you're going to uh, put your faces like oh, again and it's like you're mad and you will not help him um, role play play um, if it's not hard oh, cuddle kiss go down on him and uh, let him be. <laughs> Yeah. Um, use other stuff, but don't go and 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 make don't things shame worse. him. Yeah, don't, don't shame him. And don't and and don't get too concentrated too concentrated in the orgasm or the ejaculation. Yeah. Because mostly people get to a, a, a sex relationship and, 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 and get into sex, and what happened is that they are concentrated to do the follow steps and get to the ejaculation. What about not coming? What about keep that energy with you and develop and cultivate the sex energy that you just create with your partner? Yes. Yeah. What about and then come and come back later for more and keep like yes. having yeah. that that thing, you know? I, I think I think it, it's very sexy if you can have an extended intimate moment. Just like Dina said, if if the if the male doesn't get a hard on, it doesn't necessarily mean that It, that's the end. No. Um, you should you should be able to cuddle. You can give each other sensual massages, um, anything that is going to make him or her relax. Because you have to be able to relax, and because the sec- sacred sacred se- energy exchange is a, is is a surrendering to to the unknown because you are connecting with the person and you are opening yourself for the person's energy as well. And if you're not relaxed. You cannot be able to first. You cannot recharge them. You cannot recharge yourself, and the energy is going to be very depleted because you are both bringing each other down. So, that's a very good point. What Dina said: if there's not a hard on, there's no problem. Um, take it to the level of Kama Sutra. Take care of each other. Uh, maybe the self care, the after self care, should come first. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah. So, what? What are the? Su- How do you know that you have this anxiety? So there are um, things that happens to you that you 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 should know. Yeah, I'm anxious. So you don't you don't want sex. You don't have the need to, for sex. Um, you have premature ejaculation. Um, you can't sustain a erection. It 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 you get on hard on and it slips away. You cannot ejaculate. These anxieties come up like that in in men. In women, you will not get wet. You will not get aroused, and you'll have pain during sex. Mm-hmm. Or there's there's even a possibility of no penetration at all because um, I don't know what the exact term for it is called. Um, uh, that that you you. Uh, you close off. You know? No, yeah, you get you really. Get uh-huh. um, I don't know. It's not vaginism, right? No, it's vaginism. 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 Okay. You, you, uh-huh. you you close up. Um, I used to have that after my first bad experience. Um, I didn't want to have sex with anybody, and and I was young and really horny, but I just did not want to have that experience anymore, and it gave me so much anxiety because thinking of. Um, would this person be able to really want to get to know what I like? Because my first experience, the person did not. It was just, I'm going to have sex with this girl, and this girl is this person. Da, 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 da. And it 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 made a huge it made a huge impact for me because I went for I think a couple of years that I didn't want to have sex till I met my husband. Um, and his experience was different because he was he wanted to make eye contact with me, and I'm like, why do you want to see me? Come, I want to see how aroused you get. What's your problem? And I'm like, oh, you you do want to see me? Okay, <laughs> okay. Like, but for me it was new because I wasn't sure. So 
I think even for um, adol- adolescents, if you call it that, um, adolescents, adolescents, yes. Um, if you never had sex before and you're looking into it, um, and you would you feel that you have anxiety performance, um, that you are um, you are up, uh, abstaining, you are withholding yourself from not to have sex, but still you do want to have sex, contact one of us and we can guide you and help you to start at first with self-pleasuring to see if even in self-pleasuring you get the anxiety because it, it can go till that deep that you would not be able to feel comfortable to self-pleasure. Mm-hmm. So I think it's for men as well. I know a few men um, that they their education, like Brian said, came from pornography and they have partners and it became an issue because they don't know how to um, self-care, arouse themselves without porn. Mm. And how are they able, and when they have sex, they get, they give tremendous sexual performance because their partners are extremely happy, but themselves, they are not happy because they know what they're struggling with. And some women tend to even use it because, oh, he, he doesn't, you don't even have to talk to him he's just really highly sexually active because he has a very high sex drive but but these men also get hurt because they think oh because the body can just do that and there's a detachment from the mind and the body as well so you can have sex anxiety and performance and yet you can have sex anxiety performance and still perform but you have that in your head so it, it depends on what your situation is. It's and all about communication. Mm-hmm. It's all about the communication because mm-hmm. in this situation that the, the lady I was just talking about, mm-hmm. that she had a man and she, he had a Madonna syndrome. Mm-hmm. And um, I guide them through it. Uh, um, all of a sudden the man told her, hey, I want to come. I want to come. So he, he felt that he needed her help to come. So um, he came, yeah. he came eventually, it took time, but uh, it, it, she had to just use her pelvic muscle, be there for him, yeah. and, um, take time because th- there is no quickies. When you have anxieties, quickies will not help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it will make it worse. You'll need, you'll need, some, uh, some, you need time yeah. to, um, to be with each other, to, yeah. to suit this um feeling of an anxiousness mm-hmm. and for those who don't know what the the madonna whore syndrome is go watch the podcast that we did on Mad- madam x it's very important for you to see and understand and hear it's the women what they say the women you admire but not the women you desire so that's a madonna whore syndrome and some women tend to stay in that in that syndrome because they like it yeah they <laughs> like it but i think I think maybe some of them are they're, they're fear based in, in how they grew up because they saw their mom like that, the grandmother like that, generations of women like that, and the ideal women for them to be uh, validated and approved um, is being a, a, a Madonna, you know? And um, I don't think that's the ideal thing because I, I know for a fact that all women. Um, behind the door or like we used to say um we're freaking the shit because i don't think being like a, a, a virgin mary which by the way is not a virgin mary okay um you're going to be able to squirt and let them hit that g-spot and really enjoy your sex life like you're supposed to so True. that's a all that's a yeah all with you yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well going to the point of view of men Honestly, you know, um, men, when I talk about, like, for example, semen retention to men and I explain that they can have sex without ejaculating, for them it's so weird because they have been taught, you know, that sex have to be, needs ejaculation. And when they're, they, they, they don't have ejaculation is that the sex is not finished. And actually, uh, it's a way of living and learn and, you know, uh, unlearn what you, you you think you know about sex because sex is more than just uh, penetration. It, sex is a pleasure, it's connection, it's energy. And when when I talk to people about sex energy, they, they don't understand it actually. But it's sex energy is the power of creation. Women, because sex energy, um, women are able to have babies to create life. So uh, it's 
it's all about that the market have been created an idea and we keep living about that idea that's it still is good that we have people that we are trying to unlearn those things like for me honestly uh, a self experience um i use uh, as me in the gay community even even if is a gay community there's a lot of male uh, toxicity and i always was target like i have to be the bottom i have to want to receive and i was not able to uh try to do a, as a top and when finally i was able to move to that part because here in new york honestly i love it because it's so open mind it's so like you know liberating and i was able to experiment was being a top and i enjoy it and i was like oh i can do it and this is and actually the first times it was for me like okay i got to do a stop i have to perform i have to look good i have to move hard and actually i have been like learning to relax and enjoy the moment and take it easy and like be able to enjoy and 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 you know not concentrated on how i'm i'm doing it is if i'm enjoying and i'm trying to see if the other person connecting personally with the the other person and know that that person is really enjoying what i'm doing from not an idea of the market like yeah. porn but like a real two human beings enjoying pleasure yeah because what you say about how the industry portray um sex is um i think uh, this is going to be a funny one um your orgasm phase when you're orgasming and a lot of people they don't like how their face goes when you're actually that's the ultimate pleasure that you have because when you're tasting food if you ever get to record yourself when you actually eat something that really hits that spot that mm, mm. you know but you don't yeah. like the face but your partner, partner does mm. and actually Love it. actually you should like your face because that that's that's your orgasm face how can you not like it because you know you had a very good one the same with your so, scent of the pussy Yes. Um some women th- th- that's the reason why they have the get anxiety. Some women think that the scent, the pussy, even though you if you rub it and you put whatever in it, it will stay smelling pussy. Yeah. So <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And men love it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. um get over yourself. <laughs> I think I think if 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 you ever get to smell the Amrita nectar and then you wouldn't say that the that the vulva or the pussy or like my new Connie has to smell like a flower. It's, it's not it can smell like a flower. No. You know, it it smell it smells as it should smell and that's and, and, okay. No fish smell. No. It has the the, the vagina. It has, smell. It has a va- it But no fish smell. No. But but you when when the when the female is aroused um the male or um cuz i don't know how it goes um i will leave that to you brian um but when a female gets aroused um the ma- the male will smell he will smell that 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 scent that the body creates and i'm talking if i can go in the ovulation um phase um the body creates a scent the body creates a scent and that's it, it's an it's specifically for procreation to to call but if it's not happening in that moment and they're still aroused with that same scent your body can create it that's what we call the pheromones your body creates natural pheromones that will attract um your partner and one thing that Brian said um about us that why um, pro, uh, the women are so important in in procreation um men are as important as women are because we 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 would hold the womb but we don't have the seeds So the the men have the seeds so they are as important as we are as the womb because with no seeds there's no there's no creation nothing. yeah there's and there's nothing um so for that part i think it's very important um both for the men and the women um when they are going to have a sexual encounter with somebody um i think it's very important for them to know um these things that are what we were taught growing up just like we said pornography had a huge impact on how we develop sexually um but taking that away and diving deep in um diving deep into really getting to know what you want and what you like 
and communicating it and trying it a bit by bit and knowing where your boundary stands if you feel if you feel that anxiety coming up and what do you have to do to because um if you don't treat it and still go try to go through the experience you will have a bad one so i think it's very important that we are talking about this today because i think there's a lot of people not only on the island but around the world that experience yeah. um this this problem so Ryan said something very important just now i would i would love to add something on it because when i was preparing for this podcast anxiety is my thing um sexual anxiety is my thing uh, the majority of my clients come to me because of that um and that's why i introduced semen retention in my program okay and it's by using meditation by the breathing by using the breathing techniques etc etc you stop the anxiety also mm-hmm. and you don't will not only um help your partner to get better orgasm or satisfy your partner better but you'll help your anxiety also you'll become more powerful and maybe Brian can te- tell us a, a, a little bit more about that because he went through so <laughs> yeah so semen retention um semen retention is a, a, a style of living it's a practice where you you learn to instead of ejaculating you learn to use that energy that you create before ejaculation that is the sex energy and use it in your in your life and uh the benefits of the uh, semen retention is that you you are able to perform better to enjoy more uh, pleasure uh you create more pheromones because you hold all that and all that energy that keeps creating it it help you and it can attract your partner so it, it one of the benefits is that help you to attract your partner even in in the sexual relationship um something that that is is beneficial is that you will feel more uh desire to be with your partner because you keep holding and cultivating that sex energy and all 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 this movement from uh, the semen retention have been growing because really um people have been is on learning the new lifestyle that is not about uh getting to the sex relationship and then bam 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 as shanti said mm-hmm. and ejaculating it's more than that it's more spiritual it's more about connecting i have a question because we're talking about semen retention and i was talking about the pheromones just when when the male can smell when when his women is wanting to have sex um with the semen retention it is it possible that this also has a a good impact um and uh, it changes the chemistry that the body is creating of its hormones and it will make more pheromones so you will yeah. attract both men and women because I, i i i've seen that experience with my husband when he is practicing his semen retention and I, i was talking to him and he got a compliment i was sitting with him and he got a compliment from another guy and the guy was straight hey hey man you really look good and i'm like i'm sitting right here what is happening <laughs> and now that we are talking i'm like oh he's been practicing his semen retention and that day i did an orgasm so i wasn't looking anything but nothing but good you know and he was looking really good like really fine and i'm like babe i have to say it you are really like radiating i don't know what it is but it's the semen retention so yeah there you have it yeah it's yeah. it have benefit even um people that is uh, athletic that do that do sports they stop uh, ejaculating because when when you ejaculate you release a lot of uh, things from your body and it, it 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 mostly men i always said men they after they ejaculate mostly they go to sleep after that like yeah. oh i'm finished let me go to sleep and um be able to develop the semen retention it will give you more energy so it will not be like concentrate ejaculation and then go to sleep but you will still have this energy and you yeah. will feel pleasure and you can have multiple orgasms. orgasms yeah 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 i think it's very important to say just because um like we said about the womb and the seeds of life and this human retention is like a you are preserving in a way your your biggest inner key that you have as a as yeah. male 
to be able to create. So talking about sex, anxiety, and performance makes me think of if that area, um, if in your sex life you have anxiety performance um, and you struggle with this part, this may mean, and I'm not a, I'm not a professional in, or an expert or I'm a doc, not, nor a doctor, um, but if this area is affected, then it can play a huge part in all other aspects of your life because your your yeah. sex is your ba- is your fundamental mm-hmm. it's where your creative energy derives from totally. and if you have anxiety you cannot manifest right dina yes. uh, yeah right yes, you cannot do anything mm-hmm. so uh, in men i introduce seam retention and in women i tell them get your orgasm yeah. orgasm orgasm as much as possible then yeah. you'll Take away those anxieties. Yeah. So, so Dina, she's my coach as well. I love her so much, and I, w- I went to her, and I'm like, you know, sharing, and she, she's like, she's hearing me, and and she just, and, she, I'm, 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 and I'm like venting, telling her all the details. And like, okay, are you done? I say, yeah, okay. I have a question for you. How many times do you masturbate today, and how many times you orgasm? I'm like. Uh, I think I've been skipping that part, <laughs> and that, and meantime, and that I'm sharing, she's like, okay, that's that's one orgasm. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, that's two orgasm. Okay, keep going, keep going. <laughs> and that's three. Oh, I'm like three orgasms a day. So I tried it, I did try it, and I'm like, it, it's exactly what I needed, because if I if I went and I put this this very important orgasm. Um, to my husband, if I give him, I give it to him, and okay, you're responsible to give me three orgasms today. Like it's not realistic. It's my responsibility. So when I did it, I started getting all my stuff done and being more focused. Not it was moving me or triggering me to because I wasn't I wasn't letting the outside influence influence what I wanted. So and that was just the simplicity of really focusing on what my creative energy and my desired energy is. And using it, because I know Shanti did, uh, if I'm not wrong, um, if I'm not mistaken, she did the whole month, the, or- the orgasm for the whole month. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. And you would see how the hair is changing, how the skin is glowing, and how she was so radiant. Mm-hmm. And so it does play a huge, huge impact on Actually, actually, and Dina, and Dina, you can see it. I, I have been uh, Dina, a <laughs> marketing manager for a year, and I, I, I used to work with all her flyers and yeah. all her pictures, and you can see the difference. You know yes. what? I gonna do a post about that. I will, I will post yes. it on Before, social media. Yes. The different yes. and, and orgasm after, and yes. after orgasm. Yes, yes. <laughs> because <laughs> Dina, Dina have been in the spiritual, uh, practice? like learning yeah. about yeah practice. She have been like for twenty years. Yeah. And she's 25, but, you're but 25. Still, <laughs> but still, but still that that part that when she connected the spirituality with the sexuality, that's when it's, it was like she's just started the, the, glowing because she extra, was glowing already. Yeah, yeah she was glowing yeah. already, but it's, I love my color because otherwise they see the red in me, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we did see a huge change because uh, um we like to use Dina as the biggest example for how we are even growing in this business because um, I think for everybody that that may have been in a in a past relationship for a very long time and having to um, live a conditioned way, um, it takes the best part out of us. We adapt and it can lead us to m- maybe living a miserable life. And when you dive into the part of embracing and not being tamed down for your sexual energy um and when you embrace yourself that's what you get and she's been empowering us all with her amazing energy and props to you dina because if you didn't take that step i don't know if i would be here today talking with you guys um on this amazing about podcast. sex um, uh, about sex we're talking about sex mm-hmm. ah. yeah <laughs> you know what uh, now that you're touching the, this um when I, my mentors, and Brian is one of my man- mentors, Ariana is one of my mentors, Chantal is one of my mentors, and I love them, I love them, I, and I trust them, because they, they live what I live, lived. So I see myself in them. So they are an embodied of what you want in your life. Yeah. Okay, what you see is what you get. And if, if you like Ariana, for example, and you teach, and you choose her, as your mentor, this is this is what you'll get. Mm-hmm. The same with Brian. 
So um, I, I love this this movement that we that we st- I started it, but we are if I ca- could not do it wi- alone. Okay, it I need bodies and people that really understand what we are doing. And being anxious alone at night uh, without a mentor, someone that you can just WhatsApp, hey, uh, I I have palpitation. These th- these are your friends. These mm-hmm. are your people. Your community. Does we are? I have people m- um, WhatsApping me at night saying I've, I'm anxious. So let's breathe together. You want to meet? We can meditate together. I'm ready to med- meditate whenever at you all want. times. <laughs> yes. So this is what we are doing. Um, if you feel anxious, just reach out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Definitely. And we can and we can also uh, help you to unlearn all those things that you learned wrong about your body like honestly what I, what I mostly like to teach people is to love their self and uh, confidence because I used to be a person that if you see pictures from me before I was very 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 skinny as soon as I, I passed the 23 years old my body completely exchanged and I remember Dina telling me like your body is becoming like a from a man like <laughs> you know <laughs> and for me that 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 change was so dramatic because I was like, I don't have a baby face anymore or I, I don't have the, the skinny body or the twink, uh, twink body that they call it. So I was like, I was scared. I was like, maybe people will not love me or I will not be attracted by people anymore the way that I used to be. And then I learned that, you know, I have to love each uh, um, style of myself, each uh, uh, face of, of my life, you know. And I, I actually learned that something that, that, that have been like so meaningful for me is that each person likes something different. Yes. So I will find someone that likes my whole me, however it is, uh-huh. fat or skinny or tall or small, you know, because there's a person for each person. I, I, I really believe in that. And I really believe that we don't we don't have to go through the, with the standards that the market they, 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 they said you have to look a certain way. Yeah. No, it's but all about, sorry. Uh, Go ahead. What, what, what you said about um, how when you were growing up and how uh, you were formed, or because you were formed away, it was not a choice that you had to choose at that time on what no. you would like. <laughs> if, if it wasn't <laughs> me to choose, I would stay in the same one. I would be like, no, <laughs> stop it. No. <laughs> but, but that just this simple this simple part that we're talking about um ha- it plays a huge role in everybody when they when they are formed so i'm hearing just hearing brian talking about um about how he wasn't really feeling that confident at that time it makes me think on um how you're how the person is doing the work at that time because now we are a completely glowing person so divine um and i cannot imagine seeing you um, different, you know, because um, I, I saw your pictures before um, you, even when you went to live in New York and you started to dive deep into the creating the life that you want, you had a different, um, you have you had a different, you had a different, you had a different, you had a different glare, like your concerns were in, in your eyes, like you were living it. And now when I see you, when I see how you look and how you're, you you just glow up, I know what you're doing, what you really want. So I think for a lot of people, it has a huge impact on um, not having to be able to love themselves when they were a kid growing up. Because, um, for instance, if you were a kid and you started to touch yourself and play with yourself and didn't get the proper um, approach of your parents or your caregivers to tell you, hey, this is okay, but you should do this in private so you know you don't get uh, other people looking at you or even um, trespassing or going to try to touch you because you're doing this, you know, openly. Um, this is also a love language from parents to child to be able to l- let your kid grow and f- um, 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 how do you say? Uh, grow and, and develop, develop. Um, you have to s- switch the languages because uh, I have Dutch in my head. Um, <laughs> so you have to develop um, this beautiful 
space for your child to grow and feel comfortable that it's okay and how they want to love and touch themselves. Because um, we tend to do this um, because of uh, cultural uh, formation that, no, this is not expected. You're not supposed to do this. Don't do this. Don't touch yourself. Don't ever do this. This is so shameful. And we tend to put that in on the pedestal of how we tend to love ourselves. And it plays a huge impact on how we want to develop sexually. Well, in my case, um, I was scared on being able to what all these things that I've started to feel in a, on a very early age and but I wasn't I wasn't interested in wanting to have sex but I was sexually interested in how what I was feeling and um, then again being raised in in a, in a society where women um, is judged by how they dress and because you dress away that means you want to have sex um, it confused me in a way that I, I loved wearing skirts like I'm, I'm wearing a skirt right now I always loved wearing skirts, but when I was younger, I wore a skirt and I couldn't get leave the house because of protection or overprotectiveness that, that don't go out like that because men are going to think you want to have sex. And it created a fear and it created, it developed anxiety. So all these things can narrow down from your childhood on how your relationship was with your intimate self. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> and well, it's good because it, ha it, it, it creates anxiety. And yeah. that's what we are talking about. Yeah. And an anx being anxious during sex doesn't help. No. You don't feel. You need to be calm. You, you need cannot to get turned on when you're you anxious. You cannot turn on. <laughs> get no. yourself turned no. on. I, and if you, if a uh, healthy spiritual sex, uh, mental and person go uh, is imp intimate with someone that is anxious it's a kind of abusive relationship yes because the person that you love cannot receive your love no <laughs> and then they're not able to love you back because no. they're anxious no and it's it's very important to acknowledge it acknowledge yeah. it and do something about it don't acknowledge it and stay with it because you don't have time or it's something ridiculous i'm already married and she's not going anywhere and don't yeah. do that mm -mm. that's not living that is just no, <laughs> that's cruel be, being a plant in, just, in if i cannot imagine living a life without orgasm or pleasure that's cruel and that would be the cruelest yes and if you know the secret being in joy that's where you create what you want in your life yeah you shouldn't entertain mediocrity no and um that's that's what I wanted to really be, stop saying because and then I get passionate and then <laughs> everybody will feel me <laughs> because I don't. Uh, I no, don't keep going, I keep going. No, no, <laughs> no, if you feel really feel that you are entertaining mediocrity, stop. You should stop. Stop and and call me because <laughs> it's not healthy. No, sexual health, sexual health works for me in the same alignment as your mental health because then again what you are thinking is something that you are manifesting. Your thought is so important. And if you're manifesting or, or pinpointing at something that is not actually working for you, you are going to attract everything and anything that is not going to work for you. Mm -hmm. So if that part is not in alignment with, like Dina, Dina said, spirituality is a new sexuality and sexuality is a new spirituality. And I know we have a lot of religious people hearing and listening this podcast. And we would like to for you to contact us and talk to us on how you are experiencing your your religion and how your relationship with God and sex and how how does that come in alignment because i know for certain that some religion um even bibles have taken away that part that 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 so so important part of creation hey, we we need to start our sex bible yeah, uh, yeah, that's what Mary yeah. says. It's a sex vibe, <laughs> <laughs> and marry it with spirituality. So, uh, uh, when you meet yeah. someone needs to do it. Do yeah, something that's like true. that. That's because true. that's why I I started this. I am I'm, I'm very happy that you guys are join joined me for uh, mm -hmm. one year more than one year already. Yeah. So, we need to bring change because I do agree with you, Ariana. A lot of spiritual people do look at our podcast. They don't comment. 
they don't mm. like, but they d- listen. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's enough because um, I want you to listen, and that means I've planted a seed, and that's a spell. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. So we have a, a couple of more minutes. Really? So I actually I want to add a last part to the to the spiritual and and sexual part. You know, mostly the the whole history of humanity or religion, they always separate those parts, mm-hmm. but they don't know that sexuality is very connected to the spiritual side because it's part like from our, like you're, when, when you have a sexual relationship, you're connected with the all side, you become one in bed with a person. So it's very, very important to don't la- leave that, that side apart. I think maybe they, they really notice that, um, the sexual energy can do much and they got scared of it. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the, the human reaction, get scared of the unknown. Or maybe, and maybe oh, they want it only for a group to use it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, when you yeah, want, yeah. they want to keep the, the, some of them dumb. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. control. Yeah. That's true. And I would love for couples, if you have the vibration, if you know what we are talking about, start from today manifesting what you want Mm -hmm. using the sexual energy the spiritual energy the creative energy to bring in what you want for you and the world Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was talking about about uh the bible (laughs) and uh, um, how sexuality was taken out of it um and i was i was sharing this with with a couple of my friends and i was joking actually and i said um they always said yeah um they they painted eve in such a bad way that it was her that c- committed the sin or um, led Adam to. And when they used that, yeah, um, Eve gave Adam the apple and he ate it. And um, I follow a page on Instagram. I don't remember uh, the, the name right now. But um, this artist creates um, creates photography, uh, but it, uh, kind of like they use the fruit in a way that the amrita comes out. <laughs> it's like a vulva. Mm-hmm. And they did it with different types of fruits. And then I was commenting, I said, um, the apple is not the apple. They didn't give, Adam didn't eat the apple. Adam ate the vulva. Because it looks like if you... It looks, you uh-huh. It and looks it's like it's a... Sweet, sweet, yes, it's sweet, it's sweet like too. The, the amrita. So, so <laughs> and when I, for me, in, my, in the way that I was perceiving it, and I was thinking, and the snake is the kundalini, is the senses. They were all connected. And they taught us, they plucked the apple from the tree. There was a snake like a boa in the tree. And then they, they would cast it out of the paradise. No, it was, they, they, they connected in that way. And why did it? Why why did it teach us? It was so shameful, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, that was just a conversation. It was a, a very we interesting we one. We need to make a co- podcast from mm. this. <laughs> Would you eat my apple? <laughs> 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 That's a good title. <laughs> this time you will come into paradise. We will not cast you <laughs> out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, but I've I've heard that story before. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I do encourage m- uh, men to test it out for a week. Um, it's your homework. Yeah. Um, you are you anxious? Drink the Amrita for one week and um, d- take a notice what happens to you. you Journal. You see, you'll see, you'll be different mm-hmm. because it 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 is it is. It is a nectar of the life. It yes. is a nectar of the goddess. Mm-hmm. So um, now that you're talking about that, yeah. I encourage you to taste it. Yeah, because I think it, I think just as the seed of life is as powerful to create life, the amrita, the 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 the, the water that comes that creates for for the seed to al- to see to swim in the amrita, because or else it would not get there. Um, how powerful is that water? So yeah, try it out. Journal prior to to drinking the amrita, and then journal afterwards. And and send me yeah. a message yeah. five nine two fifteen <laughs> one zero. Send me a message telling me, Dina, you are fucking right. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I yeah. think we we reached yes. our our the time's up. I'm very thankful that you took your time and listened to us and. And yeah, be with us. Yeah. Thank you, Ariana. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. I'm going to leave the last part for you, Brian, because you do it so good. 
Thank you. Okay, so remember to watch us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Success Bliss, Matis, and Yoni Love Aruba. And also, let's thank you the sponsors of Sapi Mix, Swim Master, and Credit. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to like, follow, and share. And thank you to Dina and Ariana. <laughs> thank you so much, Brian and Dina. Okay. And we'll see each other mm -hmm. next week again. Okay. Bye. Bye. Pillow Talk, powered by Success Bliss. There is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. Yoni Love, seduced from within. Matis, enhancing your brand.